There we go. We are live. We got our little media center over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said all the birds have like their media center uh -huh. <laughs> in their gyms now. Should we plug it in? Or? It's 100%.
Two minutes, team. We'll get started on our warm up. Two minutes. So on your inchworm, remember legs stay straight. Try to keep them as straight as you can. Don't have to go fast on these. You're going to get a good stretch in. And then cobra when you're down on the bottom. And then drive back up. Legs staying straight the whole time. You're going to do that for a whole minute. As soon as that minute's up, we're going to go into a two-minute AMRAP of 10 sit-ups and 10 lateral lunges. Okay, so five each leg. 10 sit-ups, 10 lateral lunges when we get there. But right now, you may start on your inchworm. In three, two, one, you may begin. Legs straight, walking out to the bottom, and cobra when you're down there. So stretch on stretch. There we go. 30 down, 30 to go. We're going to go straight into that AMRAP. We're going to go straight into 10 sit-ups, 10 lateral lunges when I count you through. 15. 15. So when we get to the AMRAP, you just have two movements, 10 sit-ups, 10 lateral lunges, 5 each leg, 4, 3, 2, one, on to your sit ups. You have two minutes to work. Let's get maybe two, maybe three rounds of our sit ups and our lateral lunges. When you do your lateral, lateral lunge, say that five times back. You have five each leg. Treat it just like a squat, but it's on one leg. The other one stays straight. Trying to keep your toe forward the whole time and your chest up to keep that back flat. Chest is going to come down, and if you drive it up, like you're trying to show, show someone what's on your t-shirt, it'll help keep that spine neutral and extended. As soon as you're done with five and five, you're back on the sit-up. Couple it on your MRAP. Stop team, one minute down, one to go. We're going to have two rounds plus on this, and then we're going to go back to the inchworm when we're done with our AMRAP. We have two rounds in your warm-up. 
Two rounds for the whole thing. Every set of lateral lunges, hopefully getting a little bit more warm. We got full body today. Sink into that lateral lunge just like you would a squat as you set your hips back. I think whatever leg is stepping out is the one that's working. So that's like a single leg squat almost. 20 seconds, and you're headed back to an inchworm. Back to get a little bit looser for our Friday workout. All the work you've done this week already. 10 seconds. Way to stay moving. Three, two, one. Back to your inchworm. Breathing, breathing, breathing. There's going to be some movements today, some exercises. They're going to spike the heart rate, and there's going to be some exercises, some movements that are going to require some muscular endurance, some hypertrophy, some burning can be going on. We're going to have a good combo of everything today. Thirty seconds down. Thirty seconds. When you finish inchworms, when we're done with this minute, you're going to start over on that hand wrap. So no matter where you were, everyone's going to start back on sit up. Nine thirty. Rolling fourteen, fifteen deep on Facebook. Oh, I got nine. I got twelve people on Zoom. Rolling deep today. Three. Two, one, start your sit-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 lateral lunges, same thing, same time, two minutes, and your warm-up is done-so, team. And we'll get over, go over that first Imam today, Imam A. Way to stay moving, that's the name of the game on your warm up team. 90 seconds to go. We're going to go over multiple variations of your movements, exercises, whatever you've got at home. You have plenty of time to rest. Keep moving. What's up, Raider, Nicole, Turner, Chelsea, Lydia, Steph? We got there. Tisha, Angela. Becca's on there too. I just can't see her camera. One minute to go. One minute to go. Once we start this thing, the clock is never going to stop until we do the whole thing. There are eight minute EMOMs, and you have two movements, so there's an odd minute, an even minute, and we're going to switch and stick with the same two the whole time. So you switch every minute. On your first minute, your options, you can do double press. If you have two dumbbells, you're doing your normal double press. If you do not, you can use one as well. What that looks like, if I use a single, is I'm going to go all the way down to the floor. I just got to pick a side of that dumbbell to do so. Down, when I kick up, I drive swing back and overhead. That's one rep. Now you can count each one as one. If you have two dumbbells, remember you're driving both of them overhead. And if I have a med ball, I can do the same exact thing. I can drop down and I can med ball slam instead. Okay? You're going to do five to eight reps. If you do not have weights and you can't double press, you can do kneeling jumps. So I can kneeling jump, explode up, stand at the top of each rep, or I can do surrenders, but you must do 10. So I do surrenders, 
If you have weight at home, use your weight. So, double press or kneeling jumps, pick a rep set that you can get done in this minute. So five reps, six reps, seven reps, or eight. Somewhere in that range, if you want to go for eight on the first round, go for it. If you don't hit it, then drop it back a rep or two, okay? If you're doing surrenders, you're going to do 10. That is your first minute. If you have 20 skull crushers or 20 tricep push-ups, see if I can skull crush for 50. All the way down and all the way up. There we go. You have 20 reps no matter what. If I don't have weight, I can get those tricep push-ups. Just keep those hands super narrow. 20 reps either way. If you finish your reps before the minute is up, you are working on sit-up plus twist. So I sit up and rush and twist until the minute rolls over. There is a very good chance you're not going to get to any sit up and twist, and that's okay. Okay? If it, the minute rolls over, the minute rolls over, get started on the next one. Okay? You're starting on devil press, kneeling jump, or surrender. Okay? Five to eight reps on the first two. Unless you're doing surrenders, you may do ten. We'll go right into the second minute, which is skull crushers or tricep push ups. You ready to go, Rusty? Yes, sir. Let's do this thing. Once we start Facebook, once we start Zoom, my 930 game, we are not stopping. Eight minutes straight. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Eight. Every single time it's over your head, it counts as a rep. 30 seconds to go. Smart move. Yeah, we gotta get into our shoulders and then drive overhead. Or if we can swing all the way. When you swing, keep those dumbbells close. It's gotta be a full body, full extension using your legs if you're double pressing or kneeling jumping. All of our moves, we're gonna have some compound moves today. When I count you down, you have 20 skull crushers or 20 tricep push-ups. Three, two, one, go! This is your even minute, team. Your even minute. Either one, you're working your triceps and you're focusing on that elbow extension, squeezing the tricep at the end of each rep. If we don't get 20 reps, that's fine. You're just going to work for this whole minute. And then we'll be back for a second round, back on the double press, the kneeling jump, or the surrender. 30 down, 30 to go. You get through everything under the minute. You are working on those sit-up twists. What's up? You're going 20 on this scorecard. Going for 20. It's going to be a tough one to finish, but we're going to burn them out. When I count you down, we're on to round two. You're back to your double press. Four, three, two, one. Switch and go. Third minute. Third minute. Next one, Rusty. Big compound movement today. Working a lot of muscle groups. They're all working together. Every time you pick up that dumbbell or dumbbell off the floor from your double press, drive that chest up. Get ready to push those feet through the floor. If you're doing kneeling jumps, swing those arms. If you're doing Superman, you gotta get 10 reps. 30 seconds. Now, whatever reps you're going for, try to pick one and stick with it for your EMOM today. 20 seconds, and we're back on the triceps. Stop, big leg drive. You got it, Raider. Got your, you got time for one more. Five, four, three, two, one. Skull crushers or tricep push up. 20 reps. 20 reps. This is the end of your second round, team. We're going four all the way through. Eight minutes total, and that EMOM is done. Pressing with 
tricep, mind muscle connection. So the devil press or the jumps or the surrender is going to get that heart rate up a little bit. And now we're trying to breathe and just burn on those triceps. You have 25 seconds before round three begins. Shot breath deep. Nice. That's that setup for us. 10 seconds. We got to some. Nicely done. Round number three starts in five, four, three, two, one. Devil pressing. Back at it. Minute number five already. You are back at it. You are holding yourself to your standard today. Trying to maintain the same amount of reps no matter which movement you're doing on your odd minute, the first minute each time. If you hold yourself to that same rep count, we're going to have a consistent pace. We're going to have a high calorie burn, 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Everybody get up. Nice person. Moving that 50, moving that 50 pounder. 10 seconds, and it's tricep time again. Tricep time. Five, four, three, two, one. Skull crusher for tricep push ups. 20 reps going for it again. This is the end of your third round, team. That means you got one more coming up. Just one more round to go, and we're done with these two. Doing push ups, our school crushers. Out of Frankie, out of Fran. Crank them out. Crank them out. Killing some push ups today. 30 seconds. Team, when we get back and we're on this last round, you're on your double press, your jumps, or your surrender. Go as hard as you can. It'll be your last round. We're not going through this again. 9, 8, 7, 6, we're going to push the triceps, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go, final round, 2 minutes left, you're odd and you're even, and we are moving on, we can go over the next one, so you need to keep moving, this is maximum effort on your last round, every time, last round mentality, Alright, 
A is done. Imam B, your first hit. Yeah, high five and all to your Zoomers crew on Facebook. Nicely done. We're one down. The next one's eight minutes. Same exact idea. Let's just go over movements. If you have a dumbbell at home, we are going to do clean and jerk or clean and push press. However you get it there. So we're going to go from the ground to our shoulder. Let me go from the side. So same as our snatch that we did uh, yesterday, except we're going to go to our shoulder and then we got to go overhead. One. Shoulder. Overhead. Two. You have five each arm. If you want to switch arms each time, go for it. Or you can do all five with one and all five with the other. As long as you get ten total, break it up however you want. If you do not have any weights at home, you may glute bridge, but you're going to single leg glute bridge, switch, single leg glute bridge, double glute bridge. Okay, so three is one, working towards ten reps. Okay, if you don't get it done, that's fine. That is your first minute. That your second minute. You have cricket climber burpees. That is four cricket climbers down to the floor and then up overhead. So one, two, three, four, down and up. Okay, trying to get a pretty good push up on these burpees today and not trying to snake up off the floor. So driving your knee to your opposite elbow on each cricket climber. You're going for six on that one, okay? If you finish any of them under the minute, instead of sit up twist, we're going to go to high plank so tuck it instead, okay? So starting on that, clean and overhead, okay? 10 total reps, find your dumbbell. If you don't have one, you're working single leg glute bridge, single leg glute bridge, double leg glute bridge. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Good. So now, we got to stop at the shoulder, so you're thinking a big explosive movement to get to your shoulder, and then you need another explosive minute to get it over your head. So again, our first minute is going to spike that heart rate each time. Here we go. See Chelsea going to the side of your feet. If you like the narrow stance, you can go narrow to the side as well. If you have two dumbbells, instead of down the middle. So down the middle or to the side is perfect. Either way is cool. As long as that chest is up and you're driving with your legs, you have 20 seconds. Okay. 10 reps, five each arm. Nicely done. High plank toe touches if you're done. And you'll be in a perfect spot to start your cricket climber burpees in five, four, three, two, one. Go, six reps, that's one, two, three, four cricket climbers. Push up and jump, that's one rep. Each rep has four cricket climbers, a push up and a jump at the top. You gotta step your reps, step your reps, you're going for six of them. So get like me. Oh, someone says they love devil press. <laughs> Brittany might be alone on that one. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Come on, going for six every time we're here on this even minute. Going for 10 every time we're on the odd. You're done, you are high plank toe touching. Breathing the whole time you're working today, crew. If you're not breathing, we're going to spike that heart rate even higher. Make sure you're breathing. In three, two, one. Go to your dumbbell. Ten more reps. If you got two dumbbells that are lighter, you can go ten straight, holding both of them. You're back to glute bridges. If you do not have a dumbbell at home or a weight, this can be done with your med ball. If you got a med ball, you can do this with your kettlebell at home too. Any weight you have, you just gotta get it to your shoulder and then over your head to count it as your rep. Five and five. 30 seconds to go. Keep those dumbbells close to your body. Like Josh says, like you're zipping up your jacket. You don't want it swinging out too much, creating too much space. That way, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, hold on. In five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Cricket climber burpees, let's go. 
And like I said in the very beginning, if we're not getting all the reps done, that's fine. I just want you to go for it. Every single time, you're going for it. Okay? Maximum effort. You got a rep goal in mind? Try to hit it. Another six on your cricket climber. Going for another six. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. You guys are almost two rounds done already. This is four rounds, another eight minutes on our second Imam. Imam B today. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. So I'm getting more people on Facebook. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to see. 10 seconds. Be ready to go back to your dumbbell. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. Round three, minute five. You're back. Ten reps. Ten reps. Move bridges. If you don't have weight, you're just moving, moving, moving. And who I do it for? Nice. Keep your neck closed. Driving that weight off your shoulder. If it's super heavy, you're going to have to push press it hard. Nice, Angela. Good step. Looks good, Zoomer. 20 seconds to go. That way, you ready for some cricket climber burpees? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Cricket climbers. Down to your push up. Up to the sky. Jumping tall. That away. Get in after two. And if you get your six, you can go to that high plank toe touch. This is the end of round number three. You only got one more round to go. Remember, you have a last round mentality going into these last two minutes. That means maximum effort. On your 30. Got it, Rusty. Yeah. Putting in work every day this week, crew. Everyone's on Zoom, everyone's on Facebook, killing it this week. Finish it off strong on your Friday. Back for your last round in four, three, two, one. Grab your dumbbell, let's go. If there was ever a round to finish and go for it, this is it. You'll get another rest when we go over our last EMOM today. You got time for more. Eight, seven, nice work, Rusty. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. 
Air high five. Air high five. All right, team. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Stay up tall. If you're sitting on the ground, get up. No hands on the knees. Breathe, 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 breathe. Imam C, last one. You guys have 20 thrusters. You're doing 20 total. If you have two dumbbells, if you have a single arm, if you want to do single arm, you're doing 10 each side. If you do not have any weights or you don't want to do any thrusters, you're doing plank and reach instead. Okay, so your options on this one. These are full squats. I want you to work your full body today. So you're all the way down and all the way up. Okay, if you got really heavy dumbbells, you might want to grab one of them by the side instead because it's 20 reps and 20 reps of thrusters getting a full squat and lock up overhead in under a minute is going to be tough. Okay, so it doesn't have to be super heavy. If you only have one dumbbell, you can do 10 and 10 instead on each one. If you have no weights, it is a elbow plank and reach. Have something that you can actually physically, concrete, touch when you touch for your rep. Okay? That is your first minute. Your second minute, you can do any row variation that you can at home. So, I can bent row with two dumbbells going for 20 reps. I can do a single arm, 10 each side. I can do a upright row for 20 reps. Anything you got is going to work for me. If you do not have any weights, you're going to do 20 Superman T's. So, I'm going to hold my Superman and I'm gonna raise up for my T, squeeze, and then back down. Squeeze, and back down. You're squeezing shoulder blades together. If you finish any of these this round, you're going to do chops, okay, until the minute rolls over. You know it won't be a long time. So, starting on your thruster, whether it's double or single arm, make sure you're squatting all the way down, or your Superman T's, I'm sorry, or your plank and reach. So thrusters, or plank and reach. 20 reps, first minute. Find your weight or drop it down your elbows. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. First round, 20 reps is no easy task on your thrusters. You gotta stay moving. You might have to push the pace. If you got light weights, make it happen. If you gotta hold one weight by its side, hold one weight. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds, and you're on to your rows or your Superman T. Like I said, you're going for 20. If you don't hit it, I want you to switch anyway. Every round is going to get tougher and tougher as you get tired. Three, two, one, and row. Remember, we can double arm, bent row for 20. We can single arm 10 and 10. If you have really light weights, think about controlling your weight down and then up quick to the top. So we're going to do that slow eccentric. Remember, time under tension is going to make those lighter weights feel heavier today. You can also upright row if you got any kettlebells at home. Thirty seconds down. Thirty seconds to go. There we go. Second with some upright. Down and pull. The supine row. Russ, you got it. Turner looks good. Chop in if you finish this one. Quick chop and be ready to go. Ten seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Thrusters, go. Round two. Thrusters are plank and reach. Nice, good squat. Squat, maintain your squat group. Maintain your squat. Really sit the hips back. Sit into the full depth of that thing. And try to drive out of the hole. If you can get 20 reps, again, our first minute is going to spike that heart rate. And then you have time to concentrate on your rows, whatever variation you're doing. 20 seconds. Straight burn on this last one. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and row. Rowing or Superman tees. If you're at home and you're doing Superman, just think your tee is going to drive fast, so I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blade right through here, the same as I would in my row. Squeeze in the lap now, squeeze in the shoulder blades together. Thirty seconds down. Thirty seconds to go. This is the end of round two. We got to hold out for two more rounds, team. The end is near. Nine thirty. Way to work, Rusty. It's hot in here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, chop it if you're done, that's what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, back at it, thrusters. Hey, every round you're going for 20. If you don't hit it, it's no problem, crew. If you're breathing heavy, your muscles are burning from head to toe, you are doing it right. Get your sweat on, get your workout in on this Friday. How many other people are working out? You guys are here doing it live. All my YouTubers. What's up, YouTube? 30 down, 30 to go. Stop, never moving. Everybody moving up, down, nice short lady up. Solid reps on the Zoom team, Facebook Live. Keep it up, 10 seconds. Ready to row for the third time. Four, three, two, one, and go. Big pull. Your whole body stays tight so you can focus and really mind muscle connection on that lap, on that rhomboid, pulling the shoulders back, getting a good squeeze on these. Try to breathe. You got to breathe through these reps. Recovering from that odd minute, I'm short. 30 down, 30 to go. Got one more round coming up, team. One more round, that's it. Get my beat down, get my, get my beat down. Get my beat down. Stop rushing, solid. Strong on the road. 15 seconds. Get my beat down, get my, get my beat down. Here we go. Go. Where my choppers at zoom? In five, four, three, two, one. Last round. It is thruster time for the final time. Or flank and reach for the last set. There's two minutes left. Two minutes to go. That way, just as you can see, Rusty, he's got somewhere to touch each time. So he knows he has a standard. He has something he has to hit every single rep. And look at it under control. Nothing to rush through. Time under tension is what gives us muscle growth. I am too cool. I am new school. Pushing yourself to the bottom of that squat. You're gonna get that full body, that compound movement that we're looking for. 20 seconds. And this odd minute is done so. What you heard? You need to follow up, lead up, Tweety Bird. Fantastic work team. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and row. Final minute. Final minute. Grab whatever equipment you have. Get those last rows. If you're on the Superman, the last Superman with that T raise. I roll against the geek. We write code like Dr. Dre be making beats. We made it out. They got a billion users in the week. We bought a boat. 480 feet. I'm so dope. Baby, I'm a sheep. Get your last 20 reps in. Last 20 reps in. Let them know that I'll be on my way. Squeeze in at the top, big poles to finish it off. Give me those chops if you're done this round. Last 10, 9, 8, 
team. When I count you down, you're going to go immediately into your tricep push-up with no break. We have no break on the last round. Three, two, one. Tricep push-ups, go. Tricep push-ups, go. Here we go. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Same time, same place. 